Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left, and today we're back with some more Starfield Shattered Space. And last time we landed here on Varun Kai and walked the path of the serpent, became a vindicator, and now we have to go and speak to Malibor. So, let's get into it. Joop. Haha, yes. A vindicator. I can't believe I get to stand near you, well, breathing the same Please, air. Lemon Pest. Don't. He is a concern every day. Okay, open up. So we're now, we're now like Varun, I don't know. The outfit's kind of cool though. I decided to put one on just to kind of, you know, blend in with the locals. Ooh. I'm taking a net. A net. Um, I mean, it's got a decent value on it. And it actually, do you know what? It's not bad. It's got value, that's fine. Did you pick ionic liquids and yeah, and um iron. We'll take all of that goodness, thank you. That's creds. Oh look at this. They're looking after us, you know. Is this like our reward for, for agreeing to your nonsense? That is quite the sculpture. Can't go in there. Pooh. Never mind. Okay, lemon pest. Well let's um Let's go and have a word with these people and see what it is they want. Very good. Morning ship cockpit. All right. Hello. Oh, this is kind of fancy. Hello? Am I interrupting something? Or... Good to see you. Yes, hello. Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasco Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik, and we are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasco Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. Well, I mean, hmm. Yeah, what's with all the houses, aren't you all, House Varun? Collectively, we unite under the banner of House Varun, pledged to follow Jinan Varun and his descendants. But our society is not a monolith. Jinan, in his wisdom, shepherded the first of us into families that we might grow and prosper. Oh, brilliant. Our three families have for generations now helped to govern the people of House Varun and offer counsel to our leader. Well, I mean, if... someone does need to, st you know, explain what, what, what is going on. What's happened? I understand. Until you were one of us. We could not trust you. By all means, Malibor. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Mm -hmm. Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since people... Am I stood on something or am I just really tall? A bit late on that, it seems. I'm stood on something. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt still really different. Tall. I have already wasted so much time. You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. And then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Yeah. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Exactly. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malibor. Do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Okay. Anasco wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent, and so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. Yeah. I mean nothing by it. 
We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. Hmm, well... The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years, utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scaled citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. Oh. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Okay. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the vortex. Citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and the best by God, what are you doing? beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. Ooh, yeah, the vortex. What is that? Forgive me, I am no scientist. But as it has been explained to me, what we call the vortex is the uh, the space between universes. Oh, maybe a little bit like the uh, the Unity, because that was kind of a space between universes, wasn't it? Huh. Well, how long ago did this happen? It has only been a few weeks. Oh. There had been efforts to put together some kind of response, some plan. But they had fallen apart. Well, how do I fix it then? Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. The plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. Okay. The morning device, eh? Hmm. I mean, it's... yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm? Hello. Something I can do for you? I swear to God! I keep thinking I'm super tall. Can I can I read these funding notice? What's what, what's this? Report post incident status. As per the council's request, an assessment of House Varun operations in the aftermath of the Citadel incident follows: all structures in the immediate vicinity of the scaled Citadel are gone, including the halls of authority. All major ministry operations have relocated and are operating. Off of record backups and emergency supplies slash funding. Administrative personnel losses are still being totaled. Most key figures were present in the Citadel at the time of the incident and are presumed missing or dead. Science team hit hardest. Notable exception of Ekris Kaiser on leave. I think that's how you said his name. Military and security forces heavily affected. Minimal personnel presence is being maintained within Dazra with personnel being reassigned from outlying areas. Rumours of mass desertions are being actively countered. Supply chain disruptions have drained already low reserves. Ministry of Commerce is attempting to compensate by establishing new connections, but time delay will exacerbate already low stockpiles. OK, funding notice. Herald Inaza has brought to my attention a disturbing matter. There has been discussion of eliminating the funding to maintain and preserve the Serpent's Path in the latest proposed budget. I find this surprising given the paltry amount requested and the significance of the location. It should be enough that the cave is a key piece of our shared heritage. Were it not for those caves, none of us would be here today. But, if all goes to plan in the coming months, we may be able to thank the Great Serpent himself for a new wave of recruits to our cause. The Serpent's Path may yet again be needed for its original purpose. I am confident that the Council will make the right decision, and if the funding cannot be secured, I would be more than happy to personally take a closer look at the budget to see where, what areas might be trimmed in order to free up funds. Anasco. Oh. May the Great Serpent bless you. Uh, yeah. 
Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Well, all right. I'll um, I'll go and speak to this scientist and see what he has to say. Come on, lemon pest, get in. Let's go. Do you know the scientists out at Hamadi Station? The old married couple, uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. Okay. I've met them a few times. They seemed a little eccentric, but were otherwise quite nice. That's them, yes. They're apparently looking for some help with their research. They made some kind of discovery that has them traveled. Good luck finding help at a time like this. Indeed. Yet the serpent provides for the faithful, so who knows? Nothing is truly impossible. Was that a hintedy hint hint by chance? Maybe you could write it on a sign and wave it above your head wildly. Good lord. So about as subtle as a brick to the face that, wasn't it? Good lord. Okay. Well, this is kind of kind of interesting. So Oh, these are Varun no, kids. You're the one that wanted to play. Yeah, because you wouldn't stop complaining. Yeah. So, are we gonna play Spaceport? Cool. No. It's no fun when it's just us three. <sighs> Do you want to go and play with him, Lemon Pest? You're like a bloody child half the time. Alright, so. He's down here somewhere. So, ooh, look at this. He wow. Look at that view. Jeez. No, no loitering. Hey, I'm taking in the view. Leave me alone. This is the wow. Do you truly have no shame at me? What? No shame at all. What you have done goes beyond disgraceful. It is morbid. Disgusting. You should be hanging your head in shame. What? But instead, here you are, acting like a common fool. Borhal, calm down. Do not do this here. How shameful of you to have these outbursts. Oh my, what would poor mother and father think? You will speak not of mother and father, you sloughing bastard. Holy! No shame. No shame at all. What a waste of good life that they worked tirelessly to give you. Mother and father Rip spat on the ground I walked on. Yeah. You were their pride and joy. Oh, good, generous Borhol. Always the paragon, the keeper of our family name. I am... I am disgusted to call you brother. Oh, dear. It would be best for all of us if by some miracle you were to drown in one of those bottles of Cosa you are so infatuated with. Oh. Oh, with a brother like you, is it any wonder I am driven to drink? Should I just interrupt? Hello? What? What do you want? Alright. Um. What's going on here? This does not concern you. Alright. <laughs> little rude. Please accept my apologies. I caught my brother attempting to do something unspeakable. And I could not contain my anger. What was it? Oh, yes, go on. Invite a total stranger into our family squabbles. This is no squabble, you pompous fool. What you have done today is abhorrent. What? I can forgive stealing my money or pawning my valuables. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still within. Yeah, that's pretty bad, dude. Um, That is awful. I was drunk. I did not know. All of those vases appeared the same. It is an urn, not a vase, you ignoramus. And you were the one who chose it when Mother passed away. Dude, you gotta give up the drink, I man. I am tired of your shamelessness. And I am done bearing what should be your indignity. Do you hear me? I am done. You have gone too far this time, Amila. And I cannot bear the humiliation of being your brother any longer. I challenge you to a duel. Oh, God, really? Danica shall be my second. Th what? Are you mad? Yeah, are you insane, Borhal dude? Borhal, or... 
Are you sure? This is stupid. There is already so much death in the city. What good would this do? There has to be another way. Exactly. Too late, Danica. He has issued his challenge. Oh, come on now. I accept. I, in fact, look forward to it. Oh. You. You shall be my second. What? Uh, don't get me involved. Bloody hell. I mean... Well, isn't there some other way we can resolve this? No. I believe we have just passed the point of no return. I would not have proposed the duel unless I were fully committed to it. I am well past the point of compromising. You're a pair of idiots. I mean, I don't even know what a second well, is. Okay. For a moment. It is. If I win, I shall inherit Borhol's wealth and valuables. I can reward you massively for your efforts. Amila's word does not count for much, but mine does. I understand if you are cautious to accept this responsibility, but I will see to it that you are rewarded justly no matter the outcome. Yeah, what is a second? What's that? Our job is to make preparations and ensure fairness on both sides. We shall have different duties between the two of us, but our aim is to prepare the site of the duel, Weapons, ceremonies, and discourage any ambushes. This sounds rather um, convoluted. Um, I mean, why me though? I'm just some. You you were arguing the toss that he was getting me involved with your business before being a stranger. No, why not you? You seem capable and trustworthy. D uh, the dude. true answer is because Amila has no one, oh. family or otherwise, willing to be his second. He has burned every bridge there is to burn. He will have to resort to picking someone off the street regardless, so it may as well be you. I do not want to wait any longer than necessary. If you agree to this, you will allow us to come to an immediate resolution. I will pay you handsomely for that. <sighs> not fine. Then it is settled. Outsider. You will work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. As for you, Amila, enjoy these last few moments. For when we next meet, your shameful life ends. <laughs> Do not sound so confident, brother. Their family Damn, home is this way. You know, I cannot wait to be rid of. We can discuss the matters there. You will be working with me. Okay. As seconds, it is our duty to prepare for the duel and ensure fairness. Well, the thing is, I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation, but know that you are doing Amila a great favor. Yeah. He truly has no one else who would be willing to do this for him. He has burned every bridge imaginable. It seems but, that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassments, Borhal has reached the boiling the, point. The scient but still, scientist. To challenge your brother to a duel. I pray that we will be able to work towards a peaceful solution. Really so before we deserved. Deserved. This? Yeah, this uh, this is stupid, man. I mean, the brothers, and clearly, I mean, clearly, he's got a problem. You know, you shouldn't just try and kill each other just because you got a problem. That's just daft. But this is kind of kind of nice, though, isn't it? So this is a Varun house, is it? Can we? Okay. Floor's nice. Whoa! Hey, big. What are you? Is this like a big stew thing? Cooking station? Hey, I like it. Nice little cozy seating area. This is it. Shall we begin our duties? Well, all right. Are you ready to discuss our rules? Um, they aren't serious, are they? This isn't going to be a duel. Is it maybe like a battle of the minds or something? Oh, they are deadly serious. Borhol would have not dared to challenge Amila if not. The Odlum family has held duels in the past. It is something of a family tradition. Well, alright. Wait a minute. The the Adlam family has held duels before. Do they regularly do this? 
Yes. There was a duel between their two great-grandfathers, I believe. From what Borhal has told me, it began as a property dispute. Their uncle died in a duel after being challenged by their grandfather. He was accused of stealing family heirlooms. History, it seems, repeats itself. Yeah, they got a kind of an unfortunate violent history. Yes, and it seems that the cycle will continue. Unless you are able to get the brothers to agree to a peaceful resolution. I mean, I might be able to do that. Let's get started. Very good. Let us begin. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons, and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? <sighs> yeah, from what I've heard, Amilla is a drunkard, and he doesn't really stand a chance against Borhol in a duel with blades. He probably wouldn't fare much, much better in a duel with, like, guns, so, well, uh, I don't know. Hmm, I will note your concern. But know that Borhol has the final say. All right. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. Okay. Before that, though, I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got put into this. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem. Should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off? Oh, I'm very convincing. Um, hmm. Well... Yeah, it, although I understand Borhol has the right to choose the weapon, does Amila have any rights to do anything? Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Borhol oh. and stop this duel before it commences. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. A duel's commonplace in Varun culture? Duels were quite common a hundred years ago, but have become more rare with each passing generation. At this point, the Odlum family is the only one that still takes part in this custom. Well, let's let go in then. Let's sort this out. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. We will discuss your secondary duty then. Okay. <sighs> Been here for five minutes, Pest. Been here for five minutes, mate. And already, we're getting involved in other people's asshole. What else is in here? Coming through, let me have a look around. Herald's Rest. Um. Is this some kind of shrine or something? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so this is their little house, is it? Can I go in here? Nice artwork. Oh, yeah. What's in here? Bathroom. Cool. Watch out, Lemon Pest. That's kind of fancy, isn't it? Like a altar? Shrine? Something like that? Huh. So, assumedly, this is potentially one of the parents there in the vase. I'm not got in the vase. In the um, the urn. Bilal Adlam's diary. Note from Ib. Note from Ibari Irara. Hello. I am writing to express my concern over the bruising I frequently see when examining both of your sons, though especially a miller. I have spoken with the schoolmaster and they do not corroborate your explanation that Amilla has been getting into fights at school. Uh, your constant donations have benefited the halls of healing greatly and so I am providing a warning where normally I would not. If I see any more bruises during my examinations, I go to the guards. Thank you. Ibarra, Ibari Irara. 
guessing that potentially the father was not a good guy and um, was very nasty to his children. Uh, okay, so let's read this. I have made my peace with Amilla's insolence. That boy was born with a devil inside him and will never listen to reason. No, it is Borhol's recent impudence that disturbs me. I caught Borhol sneaking food to Amilla after his mother sent him to bed hungry. This was the third time I caught him doing so, and for it he got three smacks with the rod. He apologised quickly, so at least he is still capable of showing respect, unlike his brother. But this recent trend has grown worrisome. I fear that Amilla's attitude has begun to rub off on his older brother. Yeah, so the, the dad was basically a piece of garbage. I'm going to rob him. Yep. Uh, yep. I don't even want it and I'm going to take it because their father is a piece of garbage who I would quite like to shoot in the face. Okay, hello. Well... Great serpent, give me the strength to do what must be done. Regarding inheritance, what? Borhol, please accept my condolences on the death of your mother. She was a great woman, a model citizen and a generous benefactor. As you well know, benevolent even in death, she has left a parting gift for you, her firstborn. I do worry how your mother's death will affect Amilla. It is unfair, but it falls to you to look after him now, discipline him, and keep him out of trouble. Your mother and father were hard on him out of necessity. They did what they did out of love in hopes to turn him into a worthy heir to the family's fortune. Sadly, it seems they did not succeed. So unfortunately, Amilla cannot be trusted with your parents' wealth, and your mother has left all of her belongings and capital to you, Borhol. I understand that this may be a shock, and that Amilla will inevitably resent this decision, but it is a wise one. Do not let Amilla manipulate you into relinquishing any of this. Your mother and father were adamant that this is your money and yours alone. Great serpent be with you at this time of mourning. Zarina Mir. Ex executor? Um, why, why, why is the person who sent you that called the executor? Well, let's, let's talk. Adam, Adam, even Borhol Adler. What is it? I need to prepare. Look, uh, you should call off the jewel. you will be regretting it if you don't, you know. I will do no such thing and will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant dishonors. <sighs> I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around. But instead, it has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him. I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. Well, what would it take for you to call it off? There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is inconceivable. Well, that's precisely the problem. He has an addiction. And unfortunately, it can make you do silly things. All right, well... Hmm. Isn't it against the rules for you to not accept an apology from Amila? It would be, if Amila weren't a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. As I said before, an apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. Well, do you know what? That's fine. Good luck with everything. I'll go and I'll go and talk to him and see if I can, you know, 
chill things out a bit. And this is obviously a miller's room, probably. Aha! A letter to my darling! Five years ago today I lost you and yet you still visit me in my dreams every anniversary. Do you truly love me so much? I doubt I am worth going through the trouble. It was wonderful to see you again, darling. To hug you, feel your warmth, smell you, taste your lips. To see your smile and your beautiful smile that I thought I would be deprived of forever. But then I woke up. I am afraid I must ask a cruel thing of you. Please, darling, you must stop visiting me. I am not strong enough to handle the heartbreak of waking from these perfect fantasies. To be ripped back into a cold reality where you are dead and there is nothing I can do about it save joining you is more than I can take. I love you, but you know that already, right? My heart is forever yours. You have ripped it out of my chest. All right. Um, so, hmm. yeah, all right. So let's go and talk to um, a miller and see if we can convince him to, you know, Apologise and mean it. Hello? Are you alright? Alright, here we go. So is he in here somewhere? Great serpent, keep you. A labourer. Well, can I just come past you? Thank you. Um, hello? We lost a lot of good people to the vortex. Eggbo Kazmi. Bar seems much emptier. Okay. Wider. I mean, it, it kind of does. Um, Can I get you anything? Jenna Dubari. Yeah, let's let's what have you? Cosa to lift your spirits. Let's have a look. This is what I have. Anything interesting? Let's have a look here. So, groat milk. Would rather not. Uh, Cosa, fermented groat milk, typically paired with every meal. Lovely. Seaweed wine. Fermented seaweed. Hints of umami and salt pairs well with fish. Well, I don't need any of that, but thank you for letting me have a little a little look around, you know. Um I don't need any oh, wow. from you. Well, it's lucky I wasn't gonna bloody buy you then. Any would then, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Rude. Oh, so he's down there, is he now? I thought he'd come into the into the bar. Note from a patron. Hard to enjoy a bottle of Koza when this is the view. It just doesn't taste the same without my old friends here with me. I think this will be my last drink before I join them in the crater. Thank you for the memories. Ah, oh, that's a little sad, isn't it? I mean, that is kind of pretty, though, in a way. Was it prettier before? All right, Emil. Come on, let's let's talk. Ah, look who it is. Yep. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. The answer is no. The <sighs> duel shall go forward as planned. But really? I mean, his apology does have to be earnest. You seem eager to die. Why are you so sure that I will die? I have been in plenty of scraps on the streets. And I am not some sheltered pushover like my brother. <sighs> yeah, nothing good will come from this duel. What are you trying to prove? Because to me, you both look like idiots right now. You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. And now he wants to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. I mean, in all fairness, dude, you did try and sell your mother's urn with the bloody ashes still inside it. That's pretty bad. All you have to do is apologise. Why is that so difficult? Come on. He is trying to kill me. Why should I be the one to apologise? 
Borja likes to paint me as a ne'er-do-well. But what type of psychopath wants to kill their own brother? It is not fair. He should be the one begging for my forgiveness. Again. Earn mother's ashes trying to sell it. I mean, you don't look like a bloody saint here, mate. <sighs> well, whatever. Back to whatever it is you're supposed to do, huh? I should push you off this balcony right now. I've not seen my sister in days. Great serpent. I, I just... What, why do we get ourselves involved with this stuff, Lemon Pest? You I seem don't to be know. doing well. I'll drink to that. Oh, well, thanks. Hello. Are you ah, alright? Another drink will not hurt. Do you want to... Ah, another drink will not hurt. Alright, you just want to drink? That's fine. Okay. Well... What a pair of idiots. Might as well kill them both. Done then, isn't it? Proceed. I am proceeding. Thank you. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Going to talk to the scientist. The oh, great sorry, sorry. Deliver us from our hardships. Okay, so... You have what? I am sorry. Please, have mercy. I am starving. I cannot sleep. I cannot think due to my hunger. What's going on here? You are not the only one suffering. Your actions have deprived another of precious food. What do you do? You will await your punishment at the security center. Come along. Well... No. No, please. Move. Look, what's going on here? Uh, Dazra. It was once Vindicator. so beautiful. What did you do, dude? You just took a little bit of bread or something? Oh, God. You know, I... Let's just go and find the scientist. Let's just go and find the scientist and, and, and deal with that. Hello, sir. Hmm? Yes. Well, look who it is. Yep. You have made quite a stir. And given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. Try my best. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? Well, hmm... What's going on here? You could probably explain it a little better than they did. At the moment, obviously a great deal of nothing. I have the High Council to thank for that. Politics and expedience rarely pair well. Yeah. Well, they told me to help you with your project. Well, well. Progress, at last. Then your arrival is even more momentous than I'd believed. I will spare you much of the technical detail. Yes, I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Oh dear. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. Well, hmm. Why do you need the Council's approval? The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner who are also entrusted with various aspects of running, well, everything. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but, well, you have already seen the state he's in. True. Um, well... Yeah, there's no pl point in, you know, complaining about the past. Let's just get on with it. Indeed. All must serve. There you go. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. 
Time to get to work. Jolly good. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. Can we help you? I need to oversee construction here. Make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the houses, that may speed up the process. Sorry, somebody's bloody earwigging in the background. Um, well, do you know what? I'll get on it. I appreciate that someone around here is eager to get to work. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. Okay. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. Mm. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with Poison all that has happened over the blue. last few weeks, but I have okay. still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't say fascinating, dude. Troubling, definitely. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Oh, you're back again, are you? Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. Mm. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, Ugh. a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. Uh, well, hmm. Uh, hey, I'll take anything that gives me an edge. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. Cool. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. You can now... Ooh, we can make grenades? Okay, um... Hmm. Well... What do you know about the experiment in the Citadel? Not enough to have prevented it from happening. If I had any idea it was going to turn out like this... It had been Inasco's primary goal for some time. A way to recreate Jinan Varun's encounter with the Great Serpent. Everything we knew about Grav Drive technology, every scientific advancement we'd made in the last hundred years was poured into it. Towards the end... <laughs> I was just so exhausted. I asked for a brief time off. Had I not... I would be trapped in there with the rest of the science team. Wow. Hmm. Perhaps the Great Serpent had other plans for you. Yes. I am sure that is how some would see it. I left the project weeks before the disaster. And at that point, we were nowhere near ready. Some breakthroughs were made shortly thereafter, and they ran the experiment. And here we are. Yeah. Uh, well, all right, dude. You go and crack on. We'll, um, 
yeah, we'll go and help these houses and sort stuff out and, you know, do all the running around as we do, when we do, what we do. We all got, you know, a place I could put my head down for a bit here. I'm feeling a little sleepy. You know? Has anyone ever told you but look at this thing. Look at it! Well, they should. It's like a... I don't know. I don't even know what you'd call it. It's cool, though. Okay. Well, alright. Never mind. Never mind. What we will do, I fear, is mosey on round to the bar again. And find ourselves a little spot. Just a little spot. Sure you. you don't need to make anything of me. Look. Delicious. Absolute glory of a man. Good lord. Okay. I'm going to pull up a pew. This bar is the only thing keeping many people sane. In fact, we'll pull up a pew here. Have some peace My and quiet. job. And everyone I worked with. I cannot believe they are gone. No, it's awful. Truly it is. It's awful. Ever see my family again? You might. You probably will. You'll be fine. All right. Well, we are going to leave it there for today. Next time we will uh, begin helping the families. Hopefully, sort out this issue with the brothers because they're brothers. Come on now. Come on now. Both have both have done bad things clearly. But well, whatever. The great serpent would not have done this unless truly necessary. Oh. Okay. Must not doubt his intentions. Well, all right. So until next time, be safe. Be good and look after yourselves. <laughs>